Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Arising for the week of, oh, well, for the remainder of August 2020. All right, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind that these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, just check with me first. Normally, I don't mind when you send your payments in um, if you have the information, but I don't. I want to make sure that I can even do your reading um, because I'm making some changes. Uh, not with my channel and my personal life. I might be moving, but not sure. So I just want to make sure um, that I have the time available to you to uh, do your reading. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's. Um, we have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the world. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. Then we have the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. And the Lovers. Hmm. Okay, I see something going on where two people have agreed, have mutual, mutually agreed to let something go or to move on. I feel like maybe you had a connection with someone um, and maybe you guys felt like you were soulmates or you were just attracted to each other. Maybe it was short-lived, but it does look like something is has gone as far as it can go. Um, or is, you know, is time for that phase or cycle to come to an end? I feel like you had a, a soul contract with someone, but it, it was short. So I'm not quite sure why you guys are agreeing to let go or move on, but that's, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you guys did whatever it is that you came to do or play whatever role that was needed to be played. Not saying that, you know, you're not going to find new love. It's just that I'm picking up on an energy where whoever this is, you guys have decided to kind of um, uh, let something go for now. Now, it also could be that the, the reason why someone is moving on is because of distance. Maybe someone lives far away. Um, maybe it's like, I like you, but I don't want a long distance relationship. So either way, it just looks like something is, is coming to a closure or an end. If it doesn't end, um, you know, within this two week time frame, uh, I would say something might be over by Libra season. Now, it's, it's several people around you and I feel like there are some decisions that are needing to be made, uh, but you've mainly got earth and air around you. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know too if some of you were having some sort of relationship with someone that you're working with. Um, something may come to an end because someone is just committed or obligated to someone else and can't seem to move on or let it go. Hmm. Maybe two people decided to get back together, so whatever. Uh, you had going on with someone, you know, is ending because they're deciding to go back together with someone else or someone new just came into the picture or the stories could be reversed. You were dealing with somebody, but because someone new came into the picture, you decided to cut it off. I feel like either way, you're making some sort of significant love connection. There's someone that I feel like uh, maybe you feel is your mirror or like your twin. Mm, you guys also might be at some sort of a crossroad as well. It looks like you're torn and needing clarity. You might be moving on from an earth sign and going towards an air sign. Or this is what happened. Hmm. Let me look at the lovers here. Yes, 
Yeah, I feel like you guys were torn. Something's going on in your love life where it's like you're at a crossroad and it's like you're faced with some sort of decision. Something happened very unexpectedly or out of the blue. I also feel that some sort of secret is going to be exposed or revealed. Um, you may have developed feelings for, for, for someone and it wasn't something that was planned. It just kind of happened. I also feel that for some of you, one of your followers, if you have social media, one of your followers has been watching you or you've been watching one of your followers. And I feel like whoever has been watching in secret, someone's been playing something by ear. And I feel like I feel like there's going to be an opportunity to talk about some things and then this person is going to reveal themselves. But what even so, I still feel like when someone reveals that they're interested, um, there's going to be a decision of do we move forward or, you know, what happens from here? Where do we go from here type of energy? You might feel like someone is your soulmate or someone was sent to you, or someone was meant for you. Um, I feel like you've got decisions to make. Something also could be like a blessing in disguise, or you didn't realize this is exactly what you asked for. Like if you're concerned about you know, your love life, I feel like there's no need to overthink it because this is Spirit is listening to you. Spirit is giving you, sending whatever it is that you need in a, a companion or a partner. So whoever is being sent to you, I feel like it's a blessing. I feel like it's mutual. If you feel like you're not into someone, then that's not the person I'm picking up on. This, whoever is being sent to you, it should be a mutual connection. It should be a mutual spiritual connection, physical, all of that good stuff. Um... Hmm. I also feel that something's going on where maybe you're ready to be vulnerable with someone or maybe you're ready to uh, trust someone or move forward with someone. You might feel like you found like someone just feels like home to you. There is a familiar energy between you and this person. I really feel like it's more so with an air sign. So if you were torn between earth and air, I feel like you're moving towards air. I feel like there's someone, those of you that dream, there's been some sort of telepathic communication. Um, this person's been communicating with you, sending you messages and dreams. And then also just over the internet, I, I see some sort of indirect communication and at some point somebody's going to um, start communicating through DMs sending you some sort of private messages excuse me if you guys have also been closed off to love I feel like you're ready if you're already in a relationship Something's going on where you you and your partner, someone was the catalyst to help you make some sort of decision. You may have ran into someone that ignited something within you so that you could compare to what you have now. I feel like you're going to come to some sort of realization. I do see a long distance relationship. Or you might get lucky meeting someone over the internet. I feel like you and someone have some sort of hidden language. I feel like something's going to be confirmed. Someone also feels like you guys are soulmates. The only thing is that it does something may start off 
something may start off as a love triangle or someone was trying to get revenge someone was um, I don't know I kind of feel like maybe someone was just trying to something started off because someone just wanted to get back at somebody and then maybe it turns out that th there's a real connection there you and your love interests also may start off as enemies or opposites or competitors like you get into a debate you guys got into an argument and then the next thing you know you can't stop thinking about the person or you're attracted to them something also may start off as a friendship if it's not like a love triangle it starts off as some sort of a friendship something does look competitive and I, this also is a message that keeps popping up in I think the cancer reading uh, be careful of of um, who you get involved with because like I said something seemed like spiteful at first like maybe someone was just talking to you to get through to make someone else jealous or maybe you were talking to someone else to get someone jealous and then it turns out that there might be a real connection there and then it gets it can you know it could get a little messy hmm Either way, I feel like you guys are going to have options. Um, you're definitely making some sort of connections, soul connections. Yeah. Could be another water sign too, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like there's someone that you have a strong emotional connection to or you will there's a need for you to keep an open mind about whoever your love interest is something just feels natural I just keep looking at the star something feels just very natural I feel like at first you were trying to avoid this um, connection too but you're kind of uh, ready or something that you, you might start feeling like I think I could trust this person or this person seems to be trustworthy so you might want to go ahead and let your guards down around that person so yeah hopefully these messages resonate uh, feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe sending you love and grace